We are going to have a look now at how to do alignments in MemoQ. That's a situation where you have old translations, the source and the target text, and you want to leverage that content for future work. In MemoQ, we do that in the Live Docs module. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that in a project and also in the project manager's controls for that project. So let's have a look first at Live Docs as it's seen in the project. There is one Live Docs corpus or text collection attached to this project. It's this one here that's highlighted. And at the moment, there are no documents in this corpus. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a source document and a target document and align the two. To do that, we go up to the ribbon and choose Add Alignment Pairs. And I'm going to add a source document. OK, I'll take this one. And now I'll add the target document. Now, because the names are very similar, MemoQ has automatically recognized that the two of them belong together. I'm going to set the target language. This is a project that has multiple target languages in it. OK, so it's aligning the English content with Portuguese content. There are other options, but we're not going to look at those in this case. We're simply going to do a quick alignment of this and see how it looks. OK, and here's our alignment. Let's open it up and have a look. OK, the automated alignment seems to have done a pretty good job. Let me just scroll through quickly. All right, well, it doesn't look like I need to make any corrections in this case. Now, in MemoQ Live Docs, if there are some discontinuities in the alignment, you don't have to fix them right away to start getting leverage from the document. You can leave things as they are until you see that there is actually something to be reused in that document, at which point you can go back in and finish the alignment. However, this alignment looks pretty much perfect. So let's go ahead. Yeah, it's really good. OK, I'm going to mark it as finished, and that will eliminate a penalty that gets applied by default to unfinished alignments. And I will go ahead and close it. OK, that looks pretty good. And now this document in the Live Docs corpus will function like a translation memory. I don't need to feed the aligned content into a separate translation memory. Now let's have a look at how to do alignment in the project management controls. So I'm going to go up to the project ribbon here. I'm going to open this project for management. OK, and now I'm in the project management controls for the project. Again, I go to Live Docs. And here, too, I simply choose Add Alignment Pairs. And here I'm going to select my target language, as we did before. This time, though, I'm going to do something a little bit different, which I could have done in the other place as well. I have a lot of documents to align, so I'm simply going to add a whole folder full of these documents. And 
I'm going to take this folder for my source documents. It automatically loads all of the documents that are inside of that. And I'm going to do the same for the target documents. I'm going to add a folder full of target documents. And once again, because the names of the source documents and the target documents are very similar, MemoQ automatically suggests the associations between these documents. You can, of course, change that manually using the various control options in the menu underneath the list. So now let's just go ahead and click OK and let the alignments run. Okay, and here we have the aligned translations of four additional documents. Let's go ahead and open up one of them and have a look. Okay, that looks pretty good. As you can see, it's fairly easy to take old translations and make them available for reuse or leveraging of the content in future jobs using MemoQ. This is much simpler than some of the alternative platforms where after you do an alignment, it's not yet ready to use and you have to feed it into a translation memory. The other advantage of using MemoQ Live Docs and leaving the alignments in Live Docs is that if there is a match of significance, you can not only look at the individual sentence that has been matched, but you can also open up the view that we see here and read the document in context. This is particularly helpful in jobs where you need to be certain of the context in which a particular phrase is used or a sentence is translated in order to translate it successfully again.